Okay, you guys, thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel. Welcome to Prophecy. My name is Piper, and this is your psychic reading for the month of December, Virgo. Okay, so I'm going to channel a message for you from Spirit, and then we'll take a couple of cards from my angel um, uh, tarot card deck to discuss energies for the month. Um, and then um, there will be an extension to this reading. So if you want to watch that, you can scroll down to the description box below, click on the link, it will take you to Vimeo where you can get an even deeper explanation of what's actually going on for you. And we'll take Oracle cards for um, love and relationships, money and work, and purposeful meaning from spirit to get you through the month, okay? All right, Virgo, let's see what spirit has to say for you. <sighs> You've been given some time to forgive yourself. You've been given some time to lean on others. Time to forge ahead on your own. Time to think about the best case scenario. Time to work through some feelings and some issues from your past. You were given this time because you needed to rediscover the real you, your true feelings. and how to stand up in front of others. It's a given that you were never meant to be alone, but sometimes it's good, albeit you're willing to learn about what's transpired and how you're being educated. To get along with others again and to ascend to a higher level of awareness. It's almost over. But there is still room to find a good reason to have fun and feel good about yourself again. Okay, Virgo, so Let's get a couple cards for the energy of the month for you. Time. So conflict with others, competing goals, bothersome details. You've had that and you have that. Working through feelings regarding any issues with others, issues with family, issues with the people that are surrounding you. Goals that don't seem to match up. And how do we keep going in light of the fact that, that we're not seeing things eye to eye or we're on a completely different time schedule? How do we keep going when we want different things, right? Night of Earth. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. A guardian angel. This is how the card reads. 
So you're working through, through some feelings and dealing with con conflicts about the way a process or a person is moving forward. And this could be you, Virgo. It could be you moving slowly, being cautious. I'm taking some cards off the top of the deck for possibilities for the month and saving those for the extended read. So, I feel like you guys are putting yourself through your paces very carefully with caution. Because there is a need to kind of face things gently. You have to stabilize yourself and you don't want to rock the boat, but you do need to see progress. You feel like you would like to be more on point or that you'd like to be more, you'd like to move more quickly. But when you are competing with something or someone, it's best to just move slowly, right? What's that old saying about the tortoise and the hare? Slow and steady. wins the race. So if you're competing against a hair, Virgo, just know that you are probably the one who has the best case scenario should you decide to continue in this mode. So What's really going on here is that we have the life experience card. That's the tower. A significant life event may have happened to you. A powerful revelation that definitely led to change. It's time to spread your wings. It could have been a bit of a rude awakening, a little bit of a slap in the face, but someone, someone took charge and someone was in control possible fire sign or just a really, really in charge individual or you Virgo taking charge, adding structure and discipline to your life. Or this could be, uh, an adult male figure in your life. It could be your boss, it could be your father, it could be your grandfather. So there could have been some rude awakenings regarding some emperors in your life or the, the fact that you needed to take charge. And we have the 10 of fire at the bottom of the deck and now there's a lot of responsibility, a lot of work and you need to, to help accept help from others. You needed to deal with some stress-related concerns. And help from others was an important part of this journey for you. Is, I should say, here in December. There is a lot on your mind still, and you have things to do. You have things to complete. But it's about monitoring yourself carefully and making sure you don't go overboard, making sure you don't move too quickly without putting your feet in the right place.
All right, so we'll get deeper into this in the extended reading. Please join me, scroll down to the link below, click on that. It will take you to Vimeo where you can purchase and I'll see you then. Thanks, Virgo. Bye.